Her idyllic walk to the tee box passes for a pro. She's bloated with self-assuredness. Her attention to detail at a dress is magnetically mouth-watering, a far cry from stomach churning. A devoted loyalist to her seven iron, her weapon at this number five, first par three at Hapuna. She's right. Her sensory stimulating predetermined decision to play the cart path reeks of genius. Meantime, Brian, her husband, tees off on five, this wannabe show off, but in reality, a poser who thinks he's actually better than he is, plays his eight iron. A reoccurring chunkiness to his shots, borderline unbearable. He self soothes by telling himself that he can't play too well or else she'll never play again with him. Second shot for Kelly. She doesn't tolerate drama in her relationship with Brian, but actively seeks it out on the golf course. Can't imagine that was an actual swing. She would never admit to it. Why should she? But she has this beautiful imagination for hitting exotic shots on the course. That's what makes her game so exciting to watch. Not only that, but you can always learn something from her while playing. She says the rule states she is able to take the ball out of the brush and place it wherever she wants without penalty. Sure enough, looked it up, she's right. 2024 USGA rules handbook, it says that she is a head of the curve. Back over to Brian hitting his second. Flighting this low and is left with a sizable comebacker. No offense, but that one left a lot to be desired. After rehearsing a few times, Kelly wants to keep this one low. She knows better than anyone that shots may require different ball flights. After the pitch, a long go at it for a par for Brian. Inches away from the cup, he bogeys the hole of four for him. And unlike Brian, Kelly is a natural born trendsetter. She boycotts putting. It really is a waste of time anyway, but she wastes no time in putting her score on the hole. A three, honesty has always been the bedrock of this marriage. 